Welcome back everybody, Jamie here with KerplunkGaming.com doing a tutorial today on Red Power Logic. We're going to be doing just the basic logic things, uh, the logic blocks uh, today. And I'm here with Doug. Hello. I'm actually in his house. Only because I was already here. I mean, I don't really like you very much, Doug. That's understandable. You're making advanced machines right now? A little bit. You should make a, an electric wrench so you can destroy these machines with... Um, with your backpack power instead of, you know, having to use bronze. Just pro tip. Pro tip. You know what? Over it. All right. So what red power logic uh, actually is, is hardcore red power circuits, or sorry, red stone circuits in single blocks. So uh, I'm again looking at just the basic ones. And for some reason, the nano saber also thinks it's a red is red power logic but it's not but that's fine so we got latch uh a nor gate an or gate a nand gate an and gate an or gate x core gate blah, 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 blah. so we're gonna start making a couple of these i've already made an r uh a toggle latch and an x o r gate so i've got the rs latch to make which takes stone wires anodes there cathodes there okay so wire wire wafer in the middle i I think I'm doing it wrong already. So let's take a look again. Yep, it's anodes there and cathodes there. And uh, Doug, correct me if I'm wrong. Cathode is a positive uh, charge, and then an anode is like a negative charge or something. I think so. I forget. Yeah, I remember I've electronics in a long time. I remember chemistry. An anion is a pas a positively charged ion, and a cat ion is positively on charge. So I think it's about some sort of a that sounds right yeah. idea. It's been a while. It's been a while. Been a long time. I'm making all of these gates for you, by the way. I might actually steal them. Hey. From your house. Are you using my materials for those? Um I might be. <laughs> I mean I don't want to talk about it. Cathode, cathode, and wire. Uh, cathode, cathode, wire, wire, wire. There's a lot of uh, a lot of logic here, but you know what? We're 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 loving this. Crafting the logic. So, uh, how's how's life, man? Oh, it's going. Damn, I dropped my war clocker downstairs. You blew it this time. I know. Well, it's, there's wires underneath. Things fall through. It's true. Yeah, that is annoying, actually. Have you made yourself an electric drill? I mean, uh, electric uh, wrench? Not yet, no. Uh, I just finished making my... Uh, uh oh, code red. Oh, damn it. <sighs> Gotta make more redstone torches. Some cathodes. Okay, there we go. An and gate. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. I made all of the circuits now, and uh, we're gonna see what some of these do. Okay, so first off, we have the latch. It's called the RS latch. So basically, if it receives a signal from one side, it turns off the other side. So pull that turns off the other side pull that turn uh, it'll still work but that's because that's on I should be using buttons so what it is it's useful it'll send a continuous pulse so it's very useful if these were buttons a single I can turn this uh, single pulse would mean a continuous pulse so I don't need to use a lever here I can use just a uh, redstone button and it would send a continuous pulse and this does nothing now it'll always just be on until I switch over to this side I can turn that on turn that off and Make the, change the latch. Very cool, very useful. Uh, here we have our regular redstone repeater. It looks a little bit different than the vanilla Minecraft because it's got nine different timing states. So if we make it the biggest one, let's see how long it takes to delay. Oh man, that does take a while. And there we go. Then it's finally delayed there. But I mean, you can make it instant 
instantaneous as well, just like the regular repeater. There you go. It's not quite instantaneous, actually, is it? It is a little bit of a delay, but you know, what are you gonna do? All right, so this is our toggle latch. That when it would sends when it receives a pulse, it'll change what input or what output it's going to. So if I send it a pulse, it'll change. Send it a pulse, it'll change. You can also manually change this one just by right clicking it. Very useful. Uh, you can also do this by like you can send a pulse and turn a state on and off, just like that which is super cool. You don't necessarily need to have uh, two outputs. All right, we'll go over here. This is our, oh goodness, what is this? Our, um, what is the name of this one? The AND gate. Okay, so what the AND gate is, is that all three of these inputs need to be activated to send an output. So none of them are activated. One is, nothing going out the output. Two is, nothing going out the output. But three now, we'll see something going out the output that is our AND gate. Very cool, very cool. Uh, here is what we like to call the buffer gate. I believe that's what it's called, the buffer gate. And uh, basically, it just sends one signal to three locations. So one signal, three locations. And so no matter what this is, um, I can turn that on and it won't send. So it, the input side will send a signal to the three output side. Okay, so this will be our little testing mechanism here for a bunch of our other gates. Uh, that are similar to our buffer gate and our AND gate. This one right here is just our standard OR gate. Uh, so you can see it's outputting, but as soon as I turn one side on, it doesn't output. And then two sides on, doesn't output. Three sides on, doesn't output. It only works if nothing is giving it power, which is pretty cool. Get rid of that. And we have another gate here. What is, what is this gate? This is our NAND gate, so we can see how well this works. Uh, so if nothing, it looks like it's outputting with nothing in there and uh, it'll only stop outputting when all three are off. So it's the exact opposite of the end gate. Hey, hey Doug. No, he's uh, away from keyboard it looks like. And uh, we have our, our NOR gate. Let's try it. NOR gate. Oh, this is uh, the one we were just looking at, the NOR gate, sorry. Not the OR gate, which is the exact opposite of the OR gate. Let's look at the XOR gate. Okay, uh, looks like there's just two two inputs, one output. Uh, so one will do it, but if both are on, it won't output. Okay, cool. So it only works if one of the inputs are on, not both. Very handy if you're making something like, I don't know, a doorbell or something like that. And then our last one that I'm gonna look at today, just the standard OR gate, which will work exactly the opposite of uh, of the one before, it's that when anyone is on, it will send a signal. There you go, easy as that. And there are tons of these logic. If you go to your item subsets, red power, and go to logic, we've got advanced logic, we've got array logic, basic logic. There's just a ton of stuff you can do here. Parts, um, but yeah, the basic ones are the ones that are uh, very cool. And the advanced ones do even very cool stuff. I'll be looking at some of these, uh, these advanced soon. Uh, not today though, but that is a basic tutorial on some very basic functionality of these. If you're looking to see exactly what more of these do, they're very simple, they're very logical, and uh, they seem very daunting at first, but once you sort of read them and understand what they do, uh, they make redstone much easier to handle. Please just go to the TechIt wiki if you uh, need to see all these logics. There is a section specifically on redstone logic. And um, if you guys would like your own TechIt server, please go to www.treepuncher.com. I'd be more than happy to set that up for you. Thank you for watching. And uh, for me and Doug, who uh, looks like he's gone. I don't know where he went. Still here. Oh, hey, Doug. You're muted. I was. That's fine. Uh, we were doing uh, some red power. And uh, for me and Doug, you guys have a fantastic day. Enjoy yourselves.